Welcome to our third tutorial on the loft command. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the conditions tab on the loft dialog window. I'm creating a cube here with a one inch side. I'm going to extrude by one inch. OK. And here's our cube. Now let's create a new sketch. Right click, new sketch. Let's add a three point arc. First point, second point, and third point. Something like this. Done. Let's add a tangent relation between the arc and this line. Finish the sketch. Let's extrude again. We'll make an extruded cut through all and click OK. Now I'm going to create a work plane. It'll be offset by approximately 2 inches. OK. Let's create a second sketch on this work plane. Project geometry. This line, this line, right click and done. Now I'm going to create a rectangle. Right click, done. We'll add a collinear relation between this line and this line. This line and this line. Right click, done. Let's exit the sketch and hide our work plane. Right click, visibility. Let's take an isometric view. Activate the loft command. Select this edge and this sketch. Let's go to the conditions tab now. By default, both conditions are free, which makes the connection segments flat, as you see in our loft preview. There's two more available condition options. We can choose a tangent condition or a smooth condition, also known as G1 and G2 continuity respectively. Let's choose a tangent condition. The shape mapping line changes accordingly. Right now we've got the value of 1 displayed in the weight column. Let's increase the value. This value indicates how pronounced the condition is. I'm going to change it to 2. As you see, the curve is now more pronounced. Let's increase the value to 7 just to check it out. And the mapping line changes again. Let's return to 1. The other option we have is the smooth or G2 continuity. Let's check that out in just a minute. We've got some options that regulate the other side of the loft. A free condition, that's with no boundary condition, and a direct condition. If we choose the direct condition, we can specify the angle and the weight. Right now we've got 90 degrees pre-entered with a weight of 1. The 90 degree angle, that's normal to the sketch plane. Let's decrease the angle to 45 degrees. We don't see a preview, but we'll still be able to generate the loft. Let's double click on Loft 1. Go to the Conditions tab. If we increase the weight a little bit, it'll be easier to see what this option does. Let's increase it to 3, maybe even 5. Now we have a better indication of what this option achieves. Basically, the line points inward to the center of the sketch. Let's change the angle, 135, and click OK. Let's double click on the loft again. And let's change the weight value to 8. Now the mapping line points outward. Let's change the angle to 170 and click OK. Double click on Loft 1 again. And let's change Sketch 3 to a free condition. OK. Now let's look at the difference between G1 and G2 geometric continuity. Let's select the Curvature Comb Analysis tool. We'll select this face and this face. Apply and cancel out of the tool. Obviously, the curvature of these two faces is indeed different. Let's double click on Loft 1 and change the condition to G2 for Edge 1. Let's leave the weight at 1 and click OK. Now we can see that the curvature of both of these faces at this point is the same. Basically, when we choose G1 geometric continuity, these faces shared common tangency and joined points. It's different with G2 geometric continuity. 
With G2, the joined faces share tangency and have equal curvature as well. All right, let's double click on our loft again. Let's make some more changes. Now let's select free condition. Direction condition here to demonstrate. Okay. Now we have G0 geometric continuity. In other words, the join faces aren't tangent and have different curvature values at the join point. Let's make another modification. Double click on loft 1 again. Let's give this a free condition as well. And OK. Now this surface has a zero curvature or is simply flat. And this concludes our tutorial about the loft conditions tab.